The winner of the 2023 Nobel Physics Prize has just been announced in Sweden. Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Anne Lullier are the three scientists taking home the prodigious prize for their work concerning electrons in atoms during the tiniest of split seconds. They'll be awarded $1 million for their achievements. The Nobel Prize announcements will continue with the Chemistry Prize and Literature Prizes this week and will be rounded off with the Nobel Peace Prize announcement on Friday. And joining me now from DW Sciences, Leah Albrecht. Leah, tell me more about this work and why these guys have won a prize. Well, they won the prize for experiments with light, with very short, very, very small lasers that capture the shortest of moments. Uh -huh. So actually they made possible that we make, the, the, we can now make the, the fastest measurements ever possible in, yeah, in our, in human history, let's say. And, um, they are dealing with attosecond physics, um, and attosecond is a very, very tiny fraction of a second. If you compare it to, um, well, let's say, a, a second uh, behaves to the age of the universe, mm -hmm. like uh, it, a second is a fraction of in the age of the universe, um, and the same uh, kind of, yeah, the same applies to a fr an attosecond. Uh, is the same to a second. Um, so it's a really tiny fraction, and. This is the time scale in which um, electrons behave or electrons mm -hmm. move within atoms. And these are all over us. It's, uh, you know, electrons make our world and atoms make our world. So now we are able to kind of observe what electrons do, um, how they move. Um, and yeah, this gives us insights into chemistry um, on an electronic basis. Mm -hmm. And what's the significance then of, of their work for us? Well, for now, it's a really basic research. It's very, yeah, it's basic science. Um, and it gives us new tools uh, and new ways to observe the, the microcosmos, let's say. But, um, of course, they're looking for applications and they might be able, in, for example, in electronics to make electronics faster, but also in medicine, because as we, as electrons are also part of our body, as I said, we could also maybe um, kind of observe how they move in molecules and make medical diagnos diagnosis okay. kind of better and faster. Mm -hmm. And um, w what about the voting process? I know with physics, it's hard to tell, you know, who could or would be the winners. But, but in this case, the voting process? Well, it's always difficult to tell who will win. Like, it's always a surprise because yeah. um, the decision-making process is kept secret for 50 years. You, so you'll never know or... We'll, we don't know how the committee decides on, on the laureates. But we also see that now um, Anne Lullier is the fifth woman um, since nine, um, 1901, since the prizes began. And um, out of 224 laureates, five wow. women out of 225 24 laureates. That's a discrepancy. So, yeah, so we see there is a lot of kind of imbalance still in Despite the decision so many process. great women in, in physics and chemistry of having course. made so many discoveries throughout the years. That's right. I mean, it's of course, it's, it's a historical um, kind of, you know, it's historical reasons, of course, mm. beginning in, in 1901. Uh, of the, back then there were less, less women in sciences, mm. but we can also see an imbalance in the nationalities, like more people are voted mm -hmm. for um, from coming from the Western countries, the Western world. Um, so we see that, yeah, there is some critique towards the, the decision process, but in the end today, uh, fifth women won, so... Good to hear. Yeah, we can see maybe some, <laughs> some uh, process towards a better future. <laughs> good to have some uh, good news as well to tell our viewers. Leah, thank you very much for coming in and breaking that story down for us.